Welcome everyone to my series on Graha Yogas, something that I've been referring to as the essence and the glory of, of Vedic astrology. And today I'm here to talk to you about how um, certain planets uh, can give Raja Yoga in an unusual sort of way. So if you've been listening to my presentations, you recognize this term Raja Yoga. It uh, refers to combinations given in the ancient texts that can elevate a person, give them position, status, and under the right conditions, uh, put them in a very high position, usually resulting in uh, great fame. And um, every first year student of uh, Jodish learns about these and learns about the most uh, eleva elementary and simple form of these, which is when uh, lords of angle houses, one, four, seven, and 10, combine with lords of trion houses, one, five, nine with the first house and the first lord serving as both a angle and a trion lord. So um, in order to uh, illustrate uh, my um, uh, presentation today, I'm using the chart of uh, George Bush Sr., uh, the elder George Bush, who became the president of the U.S. in January 1989. And if we look um, at the significant Raja Yoga in his chart, it's brought about uh, by two planets, the Sun and by Jupiter. So the Sun in his chart is the Lord of the first house, therefore it counts as a trion Lord, and just its placement in the strongest angle house, the tenth house, brings about a very powerful Raja Yoga. Powerful because the Sun um, gets something called directional strength, as I've referred to before, when falling in the tenth house. But um, it's also, you can see, in a mutual aspect with Jupiter. They're across from each other, mutual glance, as it's referred to. And this brings about a connection between the two. So this is a, a combination of uh, the Sun now acting as an angle lord and Jupiter that is the trine lord since it rules the fifth house of this chart. So in this way, the Sun is involved in um, two Raja Yogas, gives Raja Yoga twice over, you might say. But the point that I'm leading up to is that um, if you look in the timing system, the Vinchotri Dasha that I've been referring to as to when George Bush became the President of the United States, you'll see that it actually happened in his Mercury major period, which is neither an angle or a trion lord. And um, I want to sort of talk about uh, the principle that exists within Jyotish as to why this was the case and why um, you could see that it's going to give the results of the Raja Yoga produced by both the Sun and Jupiter. To do that, I'd like to bring up a, a passage uh, from one of the main authoritative texts on Jodish called the Brihat Parasha Horus chapter, or Shastra, I should say. Um, just give me a moment here. And the quotation that I'm showing you here is from the chapter on uh, Yoga Karakas. That simply means the chapter on uh, planets that can give Raja Yoga and how and why they can give Raja Yoga. So if you just follow along with me here, uh, it says, The rulers of the second and the twelfth and the eighth houses bestow their results according to their association. Now remember that word, by association, with other house lords and according to the other house that they rule. So what this statement is implying, um, stating, is that there are three house lords, the second lord, the eighth lord, and the twelfth lord, that when they're running those periods, they will give their results based primarily on their association with stronger house lords. The stronger house lords being lords of those angle houses and those trion houses. And uh, as a result of this, my Jodish guru um, used to refer to these house lords as impressionable neutrals. They do, as it were, get impressed with and give the results with these stronger house lords. So going back now to George Bush's chart, <laughs> you can see here when we look at what houses Mercury rules, it rules uh, the second house, also the eleventh house. But as uh, the lord of this second house, according to this principle, it becomes one of those impressionable neutrals and therefore um, will give the results of the stronger house lords it's connected with and the yogas that they are configured in. And this is the point that I'm leading up to. Um, you see that Mercury is with the sun there in the 10th house. 
and therefore is going to, uh, according to this principle, give the results of the sun and therefore give the results of this major and strong Raja Yoga that the sun is configured in. And um, if you look in the Vichyotri Dasha system, as I told you about, as to when he became president, he became president in his Mercury period. And this is, uh, you might say, the, the explanation as to why, from the standpoint of the interpretive principles of Jyotish, this would have happened during this time. Now, it's interesting to look at the sub-period also that this happened in, because it happened in the major period of Mercury sub-period of Venus. And um, if you look at the relationship between these two planets, you'll see that they're forming one of these Parivartana Yogas or exchange of signs that I referred to in my videos here that I've said uh, is, becomes then a, a means of both planets having a source of strength. They can now give their results strongly. We see Mercury here in Venus's sign Taurus, and we see uh, Venus in Mercury's sign uh, Gemini. And it's a favorable exchange. It's an exchange between the 10th and 11th houses. But there's a, an additional very interesting reason why, why this major period of Mercury sub-period of Venus uh, could raise him up so high. And to do that, I need to change the perspective in the chart here. I'm going to show you the perspective from what's referred to as Chandra Lagna, using the position of the moon as, as the first house. In which case, now see what um, happens with this exchange between Mercury and Venus. They become uh, the lords of the 10th and the 9th house exchanging places. And um, this 9-10 exchange, Raja Yoga, is actually considered to be uh, the most significant, most powerful Raja Yoga. And the, and the strongest way in which they can be connected and the best placements from which they can be connected is when they exchange as the ninth and the 10th Lord, which they do here, not from the birth ascendant, from, but from Chandra Lagna. And again, it was in Mercury, Venus, period, sub-period, that he became the president. So um, to see another illustration of this, I'd like to show you the chart of an individual that uh, you're also likely to recognize. Dr. Uh, Deepak Chopra. And um, in this case, I'd like you to focus in on the ninth house of his birth chart. Well, we'll see he has, has a, a collection of planets. He has uh, Mercury, Jupiter, and the Sun and Mars there. And um, if we go looking for uh, the most powerful Raja Yoga, most success and fame giving combination in his chart, we'll see it's actually this uh, 9 10 exchange I was just referring to happening this time from the birth lagna Aquarius. You'll see that Mars is the 10th Lord. Um, the 10th house is Scorpio, ruled by Mars. It goes into the 9th house, with, into Venus's sign Libra, while at the same time, Venus as the 9th Lord goes into Mars's sign Scorpio in the 10th house. This is again that 9-10, very powerful uh, exchange between these two house lords that give one of the, um, actually the most uh, significant Raja Yoga. But if you look at timing, and if you look at when Deepak Chopra um, obtained his great uh, renown and fame and, and had his greatest success, uh, it wasn't in the period in, uh, of any of these planets, it was in the period of Jupiter. Uh, you know, prior to his Jupiter period, he was a very successful doctor, but after he <laughs> moved into his Jupiter period, he became a uh, you know, worldwide uh, known personality for his speaking, for his authorship, appeared many times on the Oprah Winfrey Show, um, was on the cover of things like Newsweek magazine here in the U.S. This would have been in the uh, mid-90s uh, after he had moved into his Jupiter period. And again, the way we can understand this is that you'll notice that for his chart, just as Mercury was for the chart of George Bush, um, his Jupiter rules his second house and his 11th house. Focus in on the idea that it's his uh, lord of his second house, one of these impressionable neutrals that according to the principle that I quoted, uh, will give its results by associ association, will be impressed by the planets, the stronger house lords it's with. In this case, the strongest house lord that it's with is with this Mars involved in this uh, very powerful 910 uh, exchange of the ninth and the tenth uh, lords here giving ra major Raja Yoga. And actually it was in his sub-period of Mars, that is major period of Jupiter, sub-period of Mars, 
is that uh, you know some of his uh, fame was at its at its height, and he, he was most uh, in the uh, in the uh, media and the public eye during this time. So again, we have this uh, illustration of a, a second lord uh, giving its results according to its association, and because it's associated with powerful Raja Yoga giving planets, uh, it also gave that result. So um, you know, these are two retrospective analyses. I didn't uh, do any prediction with regards to either of these charts, but now I'd like to bring up the chart of another U.S. president, Barack Obama in which uh, I did make a prediction um, based on this principle. And I'll, let me explain that as I get his chart up here. Take me a moment here. Okay. So Barack Obama was elected president in this Jupiter major period. And I've already done a video where I presented a little bit about this, and I talked about how um, Jupiter and the Moon form in his chart something called Gauri Yoga, um, and that this is a very favorable yoga. It means we could have the blessings of the Divine Mother. And he was elected in the major period of Jupiter, sub-period of Moon. Um, this yoga is brought about when the Moon is either in its own sign Cancer or its exaltation sign Taurus in an angle or a trine house, which is what we see here with his moon. And additionally, it receives the aspect of a, a strong Jupiter. So part of my basis of my prediction that I thought uh, Barack Obama was going to win the election uh, in 2008 uh, was resulting from seeing this Gauri Yoga and how he was running the period and sub-period of that yoga during uh, the time when the election would take place. But in that previous video, what I wasn't uh, sharing is that Jupiter is involved in um, multiple, multiple uh, status and elevating uh, giving uh, yogas, much as uh, we saw in the case of um, uh, Taylor Swift when I was presenting on her Jupiter period and some of the potentials it showed. So um, if you zero in on his Jupiter again, you'll see that in his Capricorn Lagna chart, it rules the third house, but then also the twelfth house. One of those houses, again, that um, it can be referred to their lords as impressionable neutrals, giving the results of the stronger house lords that they may be associated with. Now, if we look at the major Raja Yoga that is evident in the chart of Barack Obama, it comes about through the mutual aspect between Saturn, his first lord, and Mercury, the ninth lord again, an angle trying combination. Um, Saturn, in this case, it has great strength. It's in its own sign, Capricorn, but it's also uh, in Capricorn, both in the birth chart and an important divisional chart, the Navamsha, creating this condition referred to as Varlotama, which makes it uh, exceptionally strong. And it's a 9-1 a combination, an angle trying combination with Mercury, and therefore it uh, gives Raja Yoga. Now, Jupiter being with uh, Saturn and being also in this mutual aspect with Mercury, uh, and because it's this impressionable neutral 12th Lord, it can give the results of that Raja Yoga, and this is exactly what happened when he ran his Jupiter major period. Um, yet, there's yet another reason. Um, Jupiter gives a, a rather um, interesting and uh, unusual uh, Raja Yoga effect again because it's a um, uh, debilitated planet giving something called Nietzsche Banga Raja Yoga. Nietzsche is the Sanskrit word for uh, debilitated or fallen, as it literally means. Uh, Banga means cancellation. And uh, Raja Yoga, again, means uh, something that can elevate. So in this case, when a debilitated planet um, gets a factor for cancellation, which is Jupiter does because it's with its Lord Saturn in its own sign, this produces the Nietzsche Banga, the cancellation of the debility, but the fact that then it also falls in a strong angle house gives this condition now of Nietzsche Banga Raj Yoga. Not only is the debility canceled, but then um, the planet can give a Raja Yoga type effect, which again it did. <laughs> so now we see uh, that is Jupiter is involved in giving the results of a number of elevating uh, type yogas, the Gauri Yoga, the Raja Yoga effect it's giving by association, and now um, because of this Nietzsche Bhanga Raja Yoga, 
And coming back to this issue of strength I've been talking about, Mercury is said to get something called uh, directional strength in the first house that I referred to. And if I show you his um, uh, Navamsha chart, then you're going to also see that <coughs> Jupiter here is strong in its own sign, uh, Pisces, having uh, this underlying strength. And for all these reasons, astrologically, um, this is why Jupiter was able to raise him up uh, so high. So um, just in summation here, um, what I, the main point of this presentation today was to show you the way in which planets who are the lord of the second, the eighth, and the twelfth house can give Raja Yoga effect when they're associated with planets who are uh, participating and configured in Raja Yogas. So um, I hope you enjoyed my presentation today and stay tuned as I'll uh, continue to present on this fascinating subject of Graha Yogas. Until then, namaste.